guys, welcome to the last week of the collaboration with Marjolaine and her gals over at 12 Stone Scrapbooking. This has been such a pleasure, such a blessing, and I love that we got to dig into the word together with just a whole nother group of ladies. Uh, this is Marjolaine's free printable this week. You have to be a member of her site to get that in her newsletter, so head on over there and subscribe. Um, links down below. And then this one is her purchasable one for three dollars in her digital shop or her shop um, over on her website and again all the links are down below so the next one coming up is my free printable so it become a member of my site because there are so many different things that I do because I so appreciate that those people that become a member of the site are the folks that want more. You know, they're saying, could we do this more often than there's just the once a week that we do a psalm or, or whatever. Now, this is the purchasable one. Um, you will get a coupon code to get this for a dollar in the newsletter. So just all the different perks of being a member of the site. This is the little cutie that of uh, the fawn. Um, and I love how Marjolaine and my, how the Lord showed me how the two last sticker sheets that we're doing now, um, how they, he just tied them together. So as always, I just come in and I write my thoughts, my prayers. I'm using Tombow markers here and I'm just, um, I'm just going to wet them down and just I want a very soft palette because that little fawn is just so delicate looking so I want this like little soft palette to, to kind of start popping out very gently with all the different layers so that's what I'm going to be doing in the background while I talk about um, the scripture is just developing up the layers for to take the stickers to take on the the printables so with mixed media remember that is layer upon layer upon layer upon layer upon layer mixed media is never i don't think i guess it could be it could be anything you want it to be but in my world in the world of lisa um mixed media is just lots of layers and just all of the different dimensions of the layers peeking through and playing with each other on the page and just this visual candy for the viewer. So just know that as that I'm building up a soft palette. So um, Psalm 1833. So I loved this psalm, you know, of course, right? And But no, so the thing that just kapowed me was how I was able to use... And I didn't, Marjolaine and I did not know this. We knew the scriptures that we were going to be doing going into this. And then we both left each other to be, to just kind of figure out how that spoke to us individually, you know. So, um, so of course, we I had no idea that they were going to, the stickers were going to speak to me in such a profound way this week. So let's get into it. Let's, get, let's eat some scripture together. So Psalm 18, of course, the verse that we chose was this dear theme um 1833 but let's kind of set the say set the stage for psalm 18 so psalm 18 was sung um right after the lord made david king of israel so this song this psalm is sung after 10 years of exile 10 years of persecution by Saul, 10 years of living in the wilderness. And, and, you know, this man that was anointed to be king is living like a pauper in the wilderness in the, in, in just in absolute hunger and devastation. And I don't know, like, could you imagine thinking, Lord, I think I might've heard something wrong. <laughs> I think when I thought you were anointing me as a king, maybe you were anointing me for a wing. I don't know, Lord. I misheard something. Rocco's got a thought on this, too. Um, so, 10 years in exile, um, running from Saul, just pure hatred. Like, Saul just would have just this pure hatred of him, you know? I don't know. As, like, a, a, a people pleaser that's trying to come back from the brink, that would just about get me like having somebody hate me for that long and so and to run after me and to really want to like forcefully hate me for 10 years would just about undo me you know so so let's just say that David had had a moment so in verse one he starts out with amplified best friend I love you fervently and devotedly O Lord my strength I love you that word here is Rahim and what that ties us to is a compassion to to love so deeply like the way that a mother loves a child the way that a father loves a child and wait for it the way that God loves is Israel Rahim 
That is the love that he's speaking about here. That is the love that is shared between David and his God. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So, um, so as he kind of recounts a little bit, and I'm not going to go through all of it, but um, so it says that he, in verse six, it says he's closed in. He's in my distress when seemingly closed in, I called upon the Lord and I cried to my God. So just to give you like the, the epilogue, like before we even start in verse 19, he says, he brought me forth into a large place. He delivered me because he was pleased with me and he delighted in me. So David starts out saying, I was closed in. I was hemmed in in every, in every side. I could not move. I was surrounded by my enemy. I was surrounded by those who hated me. I was in absolute hemmed in situation. And what did the Lord do? He made him king of Israel. He brought him to a larger place than he could ever imagine. He brought him from the cave, a cave in the wilderness where he was forced to live, to being the king of Israel. That's our God. Hang on hold on, do not, do not let go that God is for you and he is not against you. And set your heart upon him. Set your heart and your ways upon him. David had a heart of God. David had a heart for God. David loved God with a Rahim love. Like a child loves their father, like a mother and a child. That is the love, the intimacy that David walked with his God. When we set our eyes on our heart and our path on him, his ways, everything that he wants, then the Lord is pleased and delights in us. Cave to a large place. So, um, so looking through all of the places to get us to that cave, to that where he is in this small place, um, reading through the scriptures and just taking out highlights, he was closed in verse six, verse 16. He was in deep waters. Verse 16 says that he was, um, he drew me out of many, many, uh, many waters. So just that feeling of drowning, not having a foothold, not having anything to stand on, you know, in the water, you just, you you're just floating. So he's hemmed in. He has nothing to stand on. Um, verse 17, he has a strong enemy that's against him. And then verse 19, he shows that he is delivered to this large place. Our God is faithful. Like every single week, I feel like this is the message that we get, but this is the message of the scriptures that he's leading us to. This is the messages that, that are in his word. Our God is a faithful God. He is a faithful God. So as we are going through this 10 years of exile with him, it got me to thinking. So verse 33 says, he makes my feet like hinds feet, able to stand firmly or make progress on the dangerous heights of testing and trouble. He sets me securely on my high places. Um, I just want to say on the background, I'm going to link everything down below. I used um, Lindy Lindy's sprays here um, and Delusion sprays. I'll have the links below. Um, Distress inks. The Punchinella that I got, I just got a piece of Punchinella like a, a, and used that as a stencil. Um, and I think that kind of just gets you up to date. Here I just want to try to drop in like a little pink mountain behind her because I want I want her to pop, right? If I just put her down on the page, I didn't feel like she was popping. So I want her to pop. And then I thought, well, why couldn't she have just like a little pink mountain tucked in behind her? I love a pink mountain. Sorry, coffee break. Um, okay, so while while this is going on this 10 years of exile like we could say why why is god doing this to me why is god have me or david or anybody in 10 years of a situation why am i hemmed in in the wilderness why can't i escape my circumstances in the situation that i'm in david walked this out for 10 years and i would offer to you that the lord was growing the heart of a king for 10 years and the Lord was trying to soften the heart of a king in Saul for 10 years. He never gave up on Saul. He never tried to keep, to just give Saul the chance to repent, to turn from his ways, to turn from his, his almost his love of self into, and, and, and self-involvement into the heart of David. David needed to grow up. 
We all need to grow up in the Lord. And this is the image that I love. This is how we are. The fawn is how we are when we start our walk with the Lord. And you could be anywhere between that fawn and that, that steed. Or I don't know what a female deer or doe. I guess, from that, for the adult deer. You could be anywhere from that fawn to that adult deer in the background because it is a long journey. The spiritual maturation thing, this is a long journey that we never get off until we go to glory. We are continuing to spiritually mature. And the thing is, is that like, let's say that we're just starting out on this journey. The Lord knows who we are and who he's calling us to be. He already knows tomorrow. We see just a snapshot of today. He sees it all. He sees that we might be this sweet thing and oh, how he loves us. Oh, how he loves us. But he takes us on a walk and he takes us on a journey and he takes us to places that we can't even fathom or imagine why we're in them because he is growing the heart of a holy priesthood that can walk out his gospel and spread the love of his son on this earth. We are not here to be happy. We are here to be holy. We are here to be in spiritual maturity, to need to feed on meat, to not suckle at the bottle of the word, and to go out and spread the word of Jesus Christ. That is our deal. That is what we were created to do. That is why we are here. He sees who he needs us to be in the kingdom. Nobody can do what Lisa Albinus can do in this kingdom because he made me with his fingerprints and he, the, the master potter carved me for a purpose and a time such as this. He carved you for a time such as this. And if we don't go from the fawn to the adult deer, we are not doing what we need to do in the kingdom. We are not doing the thing, the piece that he needs us to do, that we were created to do. You have a passion, you have a dream, you have a calling, live it. Do you want to live as this fawn for your entire life? None of us do. All of us want to be on that place where we can stand in victory on the high places in our life. Those things that we have defeated through the strength of God. That's where we want to stand. That's that. This adult deer is the place that we want to be. So um, I'm just going to say a prayer over us, if that's okay, for, for Marjolaine's group, for our group, that this beautiful thing that he knit together in the heavenlies, that um, there would just be blessings for everybody. Jesus, we ask that you would ties that bind. They just, they hold together. And when we come together and we worship together and we study the word together and we, um, and we seek your heart together. There's just this, this spiritual camaraderie that happens in the heavenlies. And I thank you that your army was increased through this collaboration. I thank you that hearts have been touched. I thank you for those that have accepted you into their heart and now can claim you as their Lord and Savior. Lord, I thank you that we got this time together. What a sweet, like I'm just seeing in my mind's eye, this little sweet box of chocolates that piece by piece by piece we got to enjoy um, the scripture, the, the, the printables and the pretty visuals on the outside and inside was just your sweet word that we got to ingest, take in and just let it become a part of our very fiber and our nature and our being. Thank you, Jesus, that you feed us with heavenly manna. When we open your word, you feed us with your knowledge, your insights, your love, your, 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 your presence, just your very presence as we walk through life. Lord, I thank you. I wish blessings on Marjolaine and her team. I pray blessings on Praise Heart. I pray blessings on everything that um, our hands and our heart touch with you in mind, Lord. As you grow kings in each and every one of us, each and every one in earshot of us, of this recording, Lord, I just pray your blessings, protection, um, to take everybody from this small place to the place that you would have them inhabit, the place that that was intended for them before there was time. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Amen. So that is it, guys. Here I am just playing along, singing a song, and having some fun with the printables. Because can I say that once all of the mediums are down, I love creating the scene with the printables. I don't know. I just get, it's so peaceful to me to just bring it to life and to have this visual representation of the, the the revelations that I got. Like every time I open my Bible, I am always going to see that little fawn 
that oh that God just loves oh he delights in that little fawn he just does he's just got that father love for that little fawn that Rahim love but oh that I would not continue on my walk and my journey through the wilderness through the small places so that I can stand on the high places like that's just such a visual for me now um that I can stand on the dangerous heights of testing and trouble. Securely, securely, I stand upon those things that once persecuted me. What? Amen, 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 amen. So I think that is all, guys. Okay, so give you a little bit of glimpse of what's coming up in Praise Heart. Um, I am going to start a collaboration in August with Amy Kane Price. Woohoo! And that's going to be a mixed media collaboration. So a little bit far different and not necessarily working in a Bible. So that's going to be a whole different kind of thing. So watch for that. Um, there's a couple of other ca- collaborations that are coming up, but I don't have dates set on them. Um, also, a big change is coming in the weeks ahead. Over on the Facebook group, I am going to change it over so that it houses all of the different things that we are doing in Praise Heart. You know, there are Digi Girls, there are Girls Are Strong, there's the Psalms group, there's a book that I've done that people are working on. Um, there are, I can't even think of the other things, there's just so much happening in the world of Praise Heart. And Ray, shout out to Ray. Um, Ray wrote to me and said, Lisa, I don't know where to share the things that I'm doing with Praise Heart that are not part of Psalms. I don't know what to do, but I want to share what I'm doing. And I thought, great point. And I can only <laughs> I can only maintain one Facebook group. You know, there's over 2,000 members now over on the Facebook group. And, and it's a lot. You know, we've got an admin team that prays for you guys. My gosh, Kimberly prays every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for you guys. We've got an admin team that's ready to step in and take people off to the side to pray with them and kind of walk with them in a more intimate way. Like there's an amazing shout out to Francine, Tammy, who's a design team member as well as admin. Um, um, Oh my gosh, Debbie um, is, oh, she's just an amazing woman of God that just comes up with folks that deal with addictions and stuff. She'll come up and she'll just pray with you. She will just stop everything and just be with you in that moment. So we've got Kimberly, Francine, uh, Tammy, Debbie, and Beth is, Beth is getting her own um, thing going on with, um, Oh my gosh, I'm not going to remember the name of her. I'll link Beth's um, information down below. She's kind of getting her own dig on um, with painting uh, pictures for folks, painting these beautiful canvases for other folks. So I'll link her down below as well. And you know you've always got this gnawing regret that maybe you're forgetting somebody. But I don't think I am. I think there's five of us. Me, Francine, Tammy... Kimberly, Debbie, Betty. I think that's all of us. Lord help me if it's not. If it's not, I will give such a big shout out down below. So that's all I've got, guys. Have a super duper Memorial Day weekend. Um, Marjolaine and your crew, oh my gosh, what a pleasure to walk with you. Um, Here, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of going in and I printed on just my white heavier um, copy paper. So I just popped in a little bit of that pink mountain into the printable so it fades in so you don't see the white and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't pop out in the wrong way. And then I'm just putting a little bit of black around one side of the stickers just so that they do pop out just a tinch and they stand up and they stand out. So that's all I've got, guys. So recap here. This is Marjolaine's free. Go to her website, sign up. You'll get it for free in her newsletter. This is her for sale. $3 on her page. Marjolaine, love you. Wow. Thank you for the honor of walking with you. Um, This is my freebie. It is coming out today check your emails this is my um for sale one dollar get the coupon code in the email and that is that rahim love of god when he looks at us love you guys have a great weekend bye Mm -hmm.